Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm really happy to announce a new feature in Terrain Magic called Landscape Clips. With that, we can now create a landscape or height fields in Unreal Engine in a very interesting way. Now let me show you a demo first, then I'll show you how everything works in details. So basically, we have something called Height Map Landscape Clip. I'm going to drag that into my landscape. So it's a simple actor and you can see a bounding box over here. And then I can go to this actor, go to the details panel, and here we can assign a height map. So I'm going to grab some height map over here. And then here uh, I'm going to expand this a little bit. So we have a button called invalidate. I'm going to click that. So basically it's a simple uh, mini landscape inside your landscape. You can put it anywhere you like. For example, I can move it here. So then I can click this invalidate button on the details panel and it will move the landscape to this place. As you can see over here, we have a sharp edge over here that doesn't look nice, but we can easily fix that. Before we do that, we can do some height changes as well. For example, I can change the height of this landscape like this. Also, I can add some saturation into that. For example, I do something like this. And now I don't have like a hole over here in landscape. It's not looking good, but we can easily change that by remapping my landscape to output range to 0 to 1. So I'll talk more about in detail uh, soon. So now we have a like a modified landscape right over here. But I like to have some fading. So what I can do is we have some fade options. Right now we don't have any fade over here. We have a circular fade. So now we have something like this. So now it looks really nice. Also we have a box uh, fade as well. So it's just like a box. It's really hard to see over here. Uh, but here we have some fade uh, mask span. I'm gonna put a value like 0 0.3 over here. Invalidate and now you can see what's really happening. So it's a it looks like a box right now. So you can control this amount of fade using this fade mask span. If you put this value of zero, there is no uh, fading at all. But if you put a value like one, and it will start to fade like this. So let me put a value like 0 0.3 for now, right now. Then you can do more customization, like you can do fade saturation. So let me say, I can do a value like three over here. And you can see some effects like this. I can increase this a little bit. So you can easily play around with this and uh, get very interesting uh, shapes uh, with your existing landscape. Now what I interesting thing is I can have as many as landscapes clips in my landscape. For example, I can simply uh, click alter and grab a copy like this. Then I can hit invalidate. So you get a copy like this. I can, uh, I can rotate this actor. All right, I can do something like this. I have, yeah, get the idea. Like I can have it like this. I can scale it. Right now we have a yeah, interesting landscape like this. So it's totally up to you. You can have as many as landscape clips. Let me grab a lot of landscape clips over here. All right, there are so many clips. I don't know what they will do. Like it's totally random. I'm gonna hit invalidate. Yeah, you can get something like this because that's the reason is now we are trying to add everything on top of each other then you will see something like this you can easily fix them uh, you can select all these uh, landscapes uh, clips from my outline and there are a couple of blending options uh, by default it's add but you can do average then it will invalidate and it will get something like this maybe this is not what you want uh, you can do something like uh, max so it's totally up to you. you. You can play with these values and get the result that you're really looking for. I hope now you have a clear idea of what landscape clips can do. Uh, then I'll start from scratch so you can get along with the tool. So this is uh, based on a plugin called Terrain Magic. You can get it from the marketplace. Check the description below on this video. Also, if you're using it for non-commercial purpose or just trying out, you can get it from the GitHub as well. But there are some process involved with that. Uh, but it's really easy to install via the marketplace. So let's assume that you have get the you have installed the plugin into your engine, and then go to Edit, Plugin, and search for Terrain Magic. So you will see a like an item like this, and then uh, make sure to click this checkbox so this plugin is installed into your project. And then you have to restart your project just to make sure everything works fine. Right then, I'm gonna create a new level. Go to File, New Level, Empty Level. So I'm going to save it into a place like, let's say, give it a name like tutorial. Then uh, I'm going to uh, go to my uh, settings in my content directory and uh, make sure to select show engine content and show plugin content. And on the search bar over here in the content browser, search for Terra and Magic. And then you will see uh, like a directory like this, uh, Terra and Magic content, and it contains some of the useful things that we can use in my landscape. Another thing is called Sun Sky. 
So basically it will add a simple uh, sky setup for your uh, project. So you don't have to use this, but when you're starting out a new level, this will be really handy. Then I'm gonna go to my landscape uh, tool. I'm gonna create a new landscape uh, for this uh, level. Here uh, I'm gonna use the open land as the multiple uh, landscape material. Uh, but you can use anything you like so there is no integration or no connection with open land with terrain magic and then uh, we have an option called enable edit layers i'm gonna check that box and this is really important because here we use a feature called blueprint brushes in landscape so in order to work with that you need to enable this checkbox and this is really important and then i'm gonna create a size of my landscape it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna put value like this okay so i'm gonna have a around 2k landscape over here but if you you can go 4k or 8k but if you increase your size of the landscape sometimes this invalidation process or compiling the uh, glance of clips into uh, the actual landscape it will take some time but here with this 2k uh, landscape it's totally fast that's why i choose with this value and now we have a black uh, window like this that's because of the open land uh, we need to select the uh, the first auto layer right uh, so you have to do that all right now our like material is set up we can uh, continue quite easily now you can go to sculpt section over here and click this blueprint uh, icon and then from the, this drop down blueprint brush i'm going to select the uh, terrain magic clip brush right then i'm going to click somewhere on my landscape then it will add an item into my outline called landscape terrain magic clip brush and that's all you have to do now you can get out of the landscape too so now I'm going to go to my place actors tab and if you don't see this actor go to uh, this plus icon and select place actors panel then you can get this uh, panel then I'm search for something like uh, clip so you have a actor called height map landscape clip I'm going to grab that into my scene so you will see a bounding box like this so this is the, the area of your landscape clip now I can go to the details panel now you will see some options like this and here on the bottom we have two buttons called invalidate and toggle outline i can click toggle outline so basically it will hide the bounding box Invalidate is trying to comp compile all these changes into your, your landscape right first thing is you need to provide a height map so you can import any height map into your project and you can get that there are some process of in importing height map into unreal engine and check the description below to see how how you can do that and here with Terra Magic, we ship some uh, example height maps. Go to the Terra Magic content directory, as I showed you earlier. Uh, go to height maps. You can see a couple of height maps. And I'm going to grab one of those height maps into here. Then I'm going to hit this invalidate button. Right now, you can see uh, that apply into my landscape. I can go closer. You can see how it looks like. So basically, it's a mini landscape inside my existing landscape. So I can move it to anywhere I like. If you are changing the whole landscape uh, in real time, sometimes it will be slow and that's why we do it like this. But in the future, we're gonna yeah, make it real time. Uh, all right, and basically we can change it to anywhere I like and also we can rotate it. Also, we can uh, scale it. So just like any actor in Unreal Engine, you can do anything you like. So I'd like to like get that back to the default state. So I'm gonna change the rotation and scale. I'm gonna put uh, that right. Okay. All right, now let's try to add some height map operation into my landscape. And the first thing is height multiplier. You can put any value like here, but it's, it's shown with meters. Uh, like here, we can see 32,000 meters of this landscape. I can put value like, let's say 10,000. And I'm gonna invalidate that. So we'll see something like this. So this is how this works. Here with landscapes, uh, we have uh, this from this height map. We got a range from uh, minus one to one. So basically, it's quite simple. If you put a value like minus one, that's basically you are making a hole. But if you put a value uh, on the uh, close to the one, so basically you're creating a mountain. And then you can do some saturation for your uh, height map as well. Let me show you what that really means. I'm gonna set the height multiplier like this. I'm gonna invalidate that. All right, and I'm gonna change the uh, remap range as well in this case let's say i don't really like to have this hole in my landscape so all i have to do is i can increase this height saturation to something like value like four here we have a flat area so there is no hole actually everything is a uh, flat over here so now whole landscape goes to the bottom and the reason is you now the range start from the minus one to one so minus one over here but I, I, I need to have this as my ground. So all I had to do is, so go to your height map range option and set the output mean to zero. 
So now my landscape start from zero, not from the minus one. So I can uh, do invalidate. Now you can see something like this. All right, now uh, you know how to play with your height map. Now uh, you see some this hard uh, edge over here, which, uh, which is not good. So all you have to do is you can try to fade this. So there are a couple of options to fade. And uh, one is a circular fade. I'm gonna go with that and invalidate. Boom, now you have something like this. And now you don't, yeah, it's really interesting to see. Now it's really nice. And here you can do some fade mask span. For example, I can put a value like zero. Now you don't have a fade over here, but you can see a circular shape like this. Okay, so you get the idea. Like if you put a value like one to a full fade, zero, no fade at all. So you can put a in between value like zero point, let's say three you get something like this and then you can do more uh, operation into this fading uh, you can add a value like let's say fade saturation to two so you can control this edge a little bit further here we have another fade mode called box fade so it will uh, get a shape like this so you, you can uh, play with the, the value that you really like and you can you can get you can get what you really need so here i like to set my fade span to 0 0.8 all right, uh, that's what I really like. So now uh, you, we know how to work with one single uh, landscape clip. Uh, now let me show you how to work with multiple clips. It's quite easy, just like any static mesh in Unreal Engine. You can clip alter and you can create a grammar new copy of this. Of course, you can create a new height map uh, clip as well. But here I just uh, grab a copy of the existing one and I can hit invalidate. Now you get a copy like this. I like to do some operations over here. I'm gonna like to get that into the middle uh, as well as this one all right i'm going to invalidate both okay and then i'm going to rotate it like this all right and now we have a mountain range like this so now you can see they merge really really well all right now let's talk about blending modes so here we have a blending modes like a couple of blending modes here the by default is add but you can add a value like max so basically in this case we pick the maximum value over here not the uh, yeah not the minimum value so basically uh, this apply by one after the other the order is like the top one is the first one that apply uh, to this landscape and after that we apply another one so you can always like add the blending shape so each and every uh, landscape clips and and get the value that really need so in this case i'm gonna stick with add because it looks nice most of the time and there's something that you need to think about. If you put a landscape clip over somewhere over here, and if you would invalidate, you get a, like a clipping like this because that's because this adds on top of each, each other and it will go beyond the 32,000 height multiplier. And that's why you get this uh, value. In this case, what you can do is you can reduce the height of the, any of these uh, landscape clip a value like this. So you can actually control this or you can change the position. It's totally up to you. So you, you, you can play with that one and get the value really need. And then uh, I'm gonna make another copy. And I'm gonna try to like apply that with my whole landscape. I'm gonna scale it to the whole uh, landscape. All right, something like this. Validate, and but I'm gonna reduce the height multiply a little bit. As you can see, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm gonna add, add some subtle changes into my landscape. All right, now we have quite interesting landscape. Uh, it's quite weird, but it looks fun, All right? So you get the idea. You can now uh, direct your landscape as you really wish. As you can see now we have a quite interesting landscape over here yeah it's really interesting uh, how we did that and i can go to the terrain magic manager i can hit this uh, hide uh, clip outlines and remove all the outlines if you want to get them back you can show clip outlines so if you have done all the editing you can uh, get rid of that using this uh, button all right uh, i think now we have quite interesting shapes in my landscape and uh, just like that, you can add multiple uh, clip actors and bring multiple uh, height maps and then create very interesting landscapes uh, in your project. I assume this will be useful. I think uh, you will build a really amazing project with this. All right, I'll see you soon with something interesting. Bye.